single degree of freedom system with a viscous damping. We have viscous damping here and as well as an excited harmonic force also. So resonance where resonance is omega 1, omega by omega n equal to 1. So phase angle, we need to find out the phase angle of the displacement with respect to the egg exciting force. So we need to here what does it mean? The phase angle is between the displacement axis and the exciting force. So what is the phase angle for the resonance? So we have already considered this you know under these um, you know, different cases when we deal with the exciting forces. So what is the answer? So directly we can say this is a 90 degree. But again, we will here try to derive. De de so, what is the tan phi? This is a phase, phase angle formula equal to 2 z r by 1 minus r square. What is the r here? r equal to omega by omega n here. So, this is given as a 1. So, when, when I substitute 1 here, this become 0. So, 1 by 0 is a infinity. So, whenever tan phi is infinity, phi is a phi equal to 90 degrees. So, here from this one also we can derive this one and if you can recollect in this case what happens the you know force diagram becomes a rectangle. So, this is the displacement, this is a displacement vector or this is the kx, this is a cx omega and this is a mx omega square and this is a given f naught or external exciting force, this is a direction actually. So, you for you know further details, please refer to the video lecture, previous video lecture. And uh, here in this case, answer is 90 degrees. And here in this case, this is a um, again a single degree freedom, which, a, which is having a viscous damping and a spring constant of 10 kilo newton meter. So here K is a K is a 10 kilo newton and don't forget this uh, kilo kilo and um, the system is exerted by a sinusoidal force of amplitude 100 newton so he, here it is given as a f naught is a 100 newton and if the damping factor ratio or z is a 0 0.25 z is given 0 0.25 so what is the amplitude of a steady state oscillation at a resonance so he, he also mentioned that omega by omega n equal to 1 r equal to 1. So, we need to find out the amplitude at the steady state. So, we know the direct formula from the previous lectures. So, x steady, x steady equal to a whole square. Here, r equal to 1. So, when I substitute r equal to 1, it will become simply f naught by 2 k z. So, if I substitute these values, what is the f naught here? This is a 100 by 2 into 10 into 10 power 3 into z that is a 0 0.25. So, this is a 0 .0, 0 0.02 meters, but it is asked in mm. So, this is a 20 mm. Answer is 20 mm. So, this is asked in 2010. So, here in this one. Um, m is attached to a spring and uh, this is externally excited using the force here. So, here what is this 100? This is a f naught and what is this 100 before the t? This is a omega. So, here omega is different from the omega n. So, what we need to find out and it is also mentioned that amplitude of force motion is uh, given as a 50 mm. So, whenever you know amplitude is mentioned in the force vibration then uh, by default, we will take this as the amplitude at the steady state because uh, we have seen why it becomes a amplitude of steady state in the theory lecture. So, here how to find out the m here. So, what is the formula for uh, uh, amplitude in the steady state equation, steady state, so this is the equation, but here the damping is uh, absent. So, j is 0 here. So, when j is 0 here, then uh, this uh, x study will become you know, simply f naught by k into you know this is a square root of 1 minus r square so and whole square so it will become plus or minus 1 minus r square 
so where r is a omega by omega n here r equal to omega by omega n and if i substitute these values this is given as a 50 so 50 into 10 power minus 3 everything should be written in the same units and what is the value of k k is this one so 3000 equal to 100 by plus or minus 1 minus r square so it will become you no know, 1 minus r square equal to plus or minus 0 0.667 so this is the value but here we have uh, two cases so one is a positive and one is a negative so i will take a positive here 1 minus r square equal to 0 0.667 and uh, it will become omega by and if i no uh, solve this one then here it will become r square equal to uh, 0 0.333 and uh, r equal to r equal to omega by omega n equal to 0 0.58 and uh, what is the omega n omega one omega is we already know omega is 100 so what is the omega n here from this one omega n equal to omega by 0 0.58 so that will give so that gives one uh, 173.2 this is a uh, again equal to the square root of k by m so what is the m value here m equal to k by 173.2 square so k is a 3000 3000 by 173.2 whole square this will gives 0 0.1 here 0 0.1 kz so in this case we got this one so in the same way we will take a under case so under case is a 1 minus r square equal to minus 0 0.667 so in this case what happened r equal to or omega by omega n equal to 1.29 and uh, omega is 100 so from this one we can write omega n equal to omega by 1.29 so that value is 77.47.45 here and uh, again this omega n equal to square root of k by m so m equal to k by 77.45 whole square so k is a 3000 so 3 if i substitute 3000 here it will give 0 0.5 kz so there are two possibilities and these two possibilities are given in the answer so answers are a and d